Welcome back, guys. I'm Melo7, and this is Football Manager 2018, and we're actually back at game early. We're going to play – maybe we'll play both of them today. No, we'll do one, and then we'll do a Saturday one, because I still kind of want to end the, the series for the weekend. Not the series, but the season. So, interestingly enough, Niveau came to me and asked for a new contract. And I said, okay, you played – first of all, the answer, well, I'm a better player now than when I signed the last one. Well, did you sign the last contract with the belief that you'd be a worse player later? Or were you actually planning on becoming a better player? Because you signed the contract and you knew how long it was for. I should hope that you were planning on becoming a better player and you knew that when you signed it. So that's a stupid reason. But aside from that, I said, okay, we'll offer you a new contract. He was offered a new contract. He turned it down. My promise, however, is not fulfilled. Look at that. I have to – the promise says offer a new contract. He was offered a new contract. The promise is not that he's going to sign a new contract. That's on him. He was offered, let's see, what was the contract he was offered for? Um, Three-year deal worth $2.4 million. Oh, no, he, he was paid. Uh, let's see. Loyalty, $245,000. Can I, can I read? Hmm. Yearly raise of 10. Salary, $875,000. What's he making right now? Now, it may not be much of a loan. I'm not going to say that. Contract info. Is that the one he's making now? Hmm. That's the contract he's on now. What was the contract offer? Did they not offer him any more money? I don't know if this is... because. This appears to be the contract he's on now. It is, through 2028. So what was the contract that he turned down? Because now I have to offer him a new contract or I'm a horrible person. But he was offered a new contract. So what did, what did he offer? And now he's not going to restart it. So I'm going to fail the promise because he refused to sign the contract he got and then would not talk to us. So, okay, well, that's that's what it is. Um, let's take a look at the roster here. We've had more injuries. Uh, Nielsen, the guy that we had that uh, couldn't play anything, has managed to hurt himself weightlifting. He's out six to nine weeks. So two plus months. Um, maybe he'll be ready for the beginning of the season. Who knows? Baptiste Mason, he was out on loan. Um, he just got injured as well, three to six weeks. Um, Pascal suspended, Painberg suspended, Lanzini still out six to 12 days, rest of the season as far as we're concerned. Legree injured four to six weeks, rest of the season as far as we're concerned. So yeah, um, that's interesting. So let's go ahead, let's play this game and uh, we'll see what happens. And then... Um, and we'll see what happens with the contract promise. Because at this point, my promise is done. He did it. And as soon as I, if, even if, even if that doesn't pass muster, even if it wasn't a good enough contract to count as offering a new contract, and I didn't see it, I just told the uh, director of football to offer it. The first time I try to talk to him to get a contract and they say no, that promise should be fulfilled. I mean, what, what do they expect you to do? I mean, if he says, no, I won't talk to you about that new contract that you promised, you can't hold me to that promise anymore. So we'll see what happens. And Iverson's gonna, oh, look at that. <laughs> Shockerhoff comes out, makes a spectacular tackle, but Andre Silva's there for the to, to pick it up and put it in. And and you know, you know, less than a minute in, and we're we're down a goal already. Uh, so yeah, that's about how we expected the match against Monaco to go. On the road, especially. When they have something to play for and we don't. We're getting shots though. We actually appear to be playing better now than we were against Lyon, despite giving up the goal. We're at least in this one. I mean, we won that, so I mean, I shouldn't be too negative, but... Gross boy, corner crossed. 
Nothing, nothing. Nobody even tries for it. Nope, they just watch it. They're just like, yeah, whatever, it's a soccer ball. Kamara Shev over to Lamar. Man, I've said these names a lot this season. Up to Iverson. Can he find Silva? He goes out to Pulisic. Back to Iverson. Kamara Shav. He's got, he's got uh, Silva there in the middle. We just laid down. Shakarov says, you know what, I'm going to take a nap here. And uh, Kamara Shev says, oh, if you're not actually going to stand up, then I'll just, I'll take the shot. Two. See how far, okay, so it goes all the way over. Yeah, he just, he just lays down. Just, I'll just sit here. It's not like he was moving so fast he couldn't change directions. He's like, take a step, oh, I'm going to lay down. Look out! Oh, look at that. LaFont comes out aggressively and takes that one away. Save the goal there. Well done by LaFont. Kamara Shev, Fabiano, Fabino probably. It's probably Fabino. Pulisic. Look at that. Oh my god, he just runs through everybody. Luckily, with a goalkeeper standing up, he wasn't quite as accurate. Put that one over the top. Silva's injured. Is he injured, injured, or is he on the way back on rehab? We'll find out here in a second, after we give up a goal. Play out from the back means it actually is supposed to go forward, not just amongst yourself in the back. Come on, Mueller, you can do it. Oh, my God, the goalkeeper got just enough that it went off the outside of the post. All right, let's check Silva here real fast. Uh, rehabilitation. Well, I mean, we've given up two goals, but I feel that somehow we have actually been better than the game we won against Lyon. Um, you know, we're playing, I think, hard. I mean, the goalkeeper gave up a, just a horrible goal. But he also gave up a goal making a spectacular first stop. So, all things all things considered, it probably averaged out. People said, we just can't handle the speed back there. Look at that. Shakarov makes a great save there. And their goalkeeper has played very well. Uh, LaFonz, we're going to call him Fonzie back there. It's LaFont, right? Is that what it was? Um, we'll, hopefully we'll find out here in a second. Nope, Gross Boy just says, yeah, I'm just going to kick the ball as hard as I can off you for no apparent reason. Um, but we're actually playing. I mean, we had six shots, three on target, clear-cut chance. They've had four half chances to go with their clear-cut. Um, possession's terrible. I, we, I suppose we could knock us down to... Uh, uh, to counter. Mueller just turns his back on it. He just says, you know what? You take it. I don't care. Just turned his back on it and walked away. That's not a good look. Pulisic feeds it across. Luckily, nobody was there. Maybe Silva's a step, step slow to his injury there. Fabino, Lamar. Was that Nauvoo? That was Nauvoo. Did he not get a yellow for that? I thought for sure we were going to be a man down for the rest of this game. Yeah, we, we know Shakarov, despite that 14, actually isn't any good on one-on-ones. Can't actually stop him. He has a record of 100% not stopping them. A goalkeeper, if we're going to get a new goalkeeper, maybe we try for a starter that likes big games and we use Shakarov as the backup. Oh, look at that. Legal just steals that, but then does nothing with it and then gives up and then just stops and lets Rugani take it. Oh, my God. We have just been terrible. Except when we play dirty. If there's a chance for a dirty tackle, we'll take that. <laughs> Tebow's terrible. He's, he's coming out. He, that was just garbage. Well, but do I take him out or do I take Mueller out? Or do I take both of them out? I mean, I could replace both of them. Uh, I'm just going to tell them they're garbage. That was absolutely terrible. <laughs> Let's give them a chance here to turn it around before we, before we sub off all our strikers. Did we have that option before? That was absolutely terrible. I've heard, you know, show me something else and, and stuff. I'm not sure I've ever noticed that that was absolutely terrible. In response to that, we're going to give up a goal. Two minutes in. Now, Shakarov got a hand on it. Put that one over the top. 
5.9 for Nouveau. Uh, that probably is going to be suspension for him. Uh, I don't remember. Maybe not. Gross boy. He's got Mueller in the middle. Tries to find him. Doesn't. Finds Marcio. Nouveau. Gives it back. Mueller, take the shot. There we go. That should tie it back up. So we got them both at 26. Can we can we can we make make the record against PSG? Gross boy to Mueller, nothing. Navo just gives it up. Gross boy again to Mueller. I, I didn't think he wanted it. He just sat on it. I just hmm. I don't probably have anybody to sub Navo out, do I? Because they're gonna scream at me afterwards. How dare you leave him in when he's playing so badly? Um but I, I just... I mean, we put Sylvan in. He plays right. He's not going to be any better, but rather than listen to the complaints... Right only. Right only. Let's swap him. Let's, let's, Victor's better. Let's put Victor on the unfamiliar side. Give Sylvan some chance of success. Nikolov played terribly. T-Bone's still bad. Mueller's actually better. He, I mean, he got the goal. That helped. Let's go ahead and put uh, Bouchard in for T-Bone. Save our last... Maybe we put uh, Bonet in, you know, at 85 or something like that. Get him a little bit of play. Considering how kind of overachieving I thought we were, man, we have just been terrible down the stretch. I kind of want to rebuild the whole team now. And there's no reason for it. We've played really well. LaFont, there we go. We've played really well all season. You know, we just keep running into Monaco. That's it. We just can't beat Monaco and PSG. And unfortunately, here towards the end, with all the quarterfinals against Monaco, we've seen them four times this season. Lost all four. We don't like big matches or handle pressure. That's that's an issue. We got to see about getting better at that. Whoever we replace, we need to be taking a look at at important matches or or pressure situations. Now Mueller's picked up a. Well, there we go. Take him out. Yeah, we'll play. I I thought about putting in Conan, but we'll put in Bonet. I mean, as it is, half my team is going to be injured for the start of next season. We've been really lucky all season, too, right up in here until the end, and now it's just been just brutal. And Iverson heads one past Shakarov. Looked like he might have got a hand on it. Didn't really see. 4-1. Just, just an ass whooping. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's, that's not fun to see. We have some motivated... But we're just not playing well. I, I mean, let's be fair. Other than Nouveau, nobody's been horrible. Although there's a 6-2 and a 6-3 there in the center of our defense. But, you know, I mean, with nobody else scoring or, or keeping hanging on to the ball, the defense has had a lot on their, on their plate. And with crosses like that, I mean, yeah, Gross Boy's definitely not going to be a starter next season. Yeah, it's not just us that kicks it off the other player. At this point, my only hope is that they miss the shot. Because they had 24 shots. Only two clear-cut chances, though. But five half chances. And we've had two and two. Like I said, we have played better than the score looks. I think. It's just frustrating because the score is what it is. And we still got a yellow. Still managed to get one of those. I say, we're not turning down dirty tackles. We're just not working hard to for second chances, you know? Mars gonna be five five one. There we go, Shakarov. So I take notes for what I want in the off season. Fair out to Madu.
Martins, first time we got to call his name this time since he's been in. Wasn't horrible. Fair. Can we get something? Come on, Gross. No, no, Gross Boy's scared. He's passing back. When our strikers are passing to uh, our defensive centers, out of the box, when we're passing out of the box back to our defensive centers, there's an issue. I mean, we just started their counterattack for him. That's, that's essentially all we were doing. And that's time. That's, that's frustrating. They didn't do well, and their efforts were excellent. I'm going to go with I'm far from pleased, but calmly, not not an angry shouting uh, thing. So, but again, we're, we are what we are. We knew this one doesn't matter. Martins makes professional debut. Bouchard gets a pay increase. We recalled Baptiste because of the injury. There's no point in leaving him out there. I don't know why we were hailing Mueller. He did, He played terrible. No, I'm not praising his form. He was bad. He was bad. Uh, okay, so, whoops, this is what I'm looking for. So what do we got for next week? Pain Bang is back, so we can put him in for Madu. Pascal is back, so we can put him in for, why is Ferrer in him? Oh, there we go, for Nouveau. Nouveau can go back in for Pikachu. Madu can go on the bench. Pikachu can go on the bench. So we have a full bench for the next game. Right, left, right. I'm going to put in Bonet in for fair. I'm going to put in Bouchard for Gross Boy. And we're going to see Rippert one last time in for Shakarov, which is a mistake because he's not nearly as good a goalkeeper. Um, this is more of a, you know, we're just, we're just saying goodbye to Rippert here. We're saying goodbye to Rippert while we say hello to some of the youngsters that are up and coming. That's, that's kind of the deal here within, within the realm that we have to do it. You know, that's, that's the deal. We don't have a whole lot of room to maneuver here, but, um, so we'll do that next week, next week. We'll do that tomorrow. Uh, there'll be a Saturday episode for this. Um, so keep tuned, stay, stay tuned for that, and we'll see you next time. Cheers.